and welcome to Inquire to Choir. My name is Eva and I'm here to help you, fellow choir people. How your choir enters the stage is a very big deal because it sets the tone for the whole performance. So I find it appropriate that today we talk about it in eight quick steps. I assume that the situation is this. Your choir is next to perform. Your dressing room is not very close to the stage and maybe there are some stairs to conquer while getting to the stage. 1. Gather your choir in or in front of your dressing room, if it's in front I suppose it's a hallway, and make them form the same shape they will be in on the stage. Make them take the same positions they will be in on the stage. 2. When they have done that, tell them your last advice and motivational words for the performance. 3. Then the last row of the choir forms a line and goes up the stairs and the whole choir forms like a queue. 4. While waiting in the staircase they should be quiet, not only to avoid nuisance but to gather their thoughts and concentration for the performance, as well as making a good impression on the organization of the event, which can take you far. 5. If they are carrying a map with their music sheet, they should carry it in the hand which is not seen by the audience while they're entering the stage. For example, if they're entering the stage facing their left side to the audience, they should carry their music sheet in their right hand. 6. Tell them to walk slowly but effectively. They shouldn't rush, they should appear calm and professional. If you have a mixed choir, I suppose the male voices are entering first, so tell them not to rush, mainly because uh, the women in the choir are probably walking in heels. Also, they should seem happy to be entering the stage, so tell them to smile. 7. When they arrive to the stage, they should stand tall with their heads up and in a little smile, without talking or squirming or yawning or waving to the audience. If they have music sheet with them, their maps remain in their hand on the side until the conductor says otherwise. And what I mean by that is 8. The conductor usually waits for the whole choir to be in their positions and then enters the stage and takes a bow. Afterwards, the conductor faces the choir and shows them to open their maps like this. And that's it! Make sure you're subscribed to Inquire to Choir, new videos every Thursday. You can find me on Facebook and on Instagram. Conduct well, conductors, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye!